Welcome back. Part of their mission at New Orleans East Hospital is to educate the community on ways to be proactive with their overall health, and this includes getting your flu shot. Joining us now with more are Dr. Bertrand Tillery and Dr. Jan Cooper. Welcome back to Great Day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great to be here. So tell us, what are the benefits of getting a flu shot? Well, of course, getting the flu shot prevents you from getting the flu, so that's very important. Everybody six months of age and older should get the flu shot every season, preferably before the end of October. That's when flu season really ramps up. I don't know if you've ever had the flu, but it can be miserable. Right, it's not pleasant. No, so fever, chills, headaches, body aches, you know, sore throat, cough, it'll put you in bed. Um, if you're healthy, if you're a healthy person, you'll probably get over it in five to seven days, but it's still worth getting the flu shot because you're miserable. Now, unfortunately, there are some people that are prone to get a really serious illness from the flu, like the elderly, the very young, pregnant women, people with chronic illnesses, they can get pneumonia, end up in the hospital, even in the intensive care unit, and may even die. And remember, the flu is very contagious, so even if you're healthy and you get the flu shot and you're not, you know, you're, you're okay, you get over it, you may pass it on to somebody else. Sure. And remember, you're contagious even before you get the symptoms. So, you know, you want to protect other people by getting the flu shot yourself. And finally, the flu shot is not 100% effective. It never is. Probably about half that if you're lucky. I see. Um, but if you get the flu after having had the flu shot, it's probably going to be less severe. So everybody should get the flu shot, except if you're allergic to the flu shot. Um, if you have an egg allergy, you can still get it. Um, and the flu shot cannot give you the flu. Gotcha. Okay, so that's, that's <laughs> maybe perhaps one of the common misconceptions yes. when people think about getting the actual shot. No. When you get that fever and achiness and soreness, that's a good thing. It means your immune system is amping up, which is what you want to happen after the flu shot. So enjoy it when you feel sick after getting the flu shot. <laughs> right, enjoy it. That's pretty funny. All right, can you give us some statistics on different communities that, you know, are, are more susceptible to the flu? If you look at the CDC statistics, if you look from 2017 to 2018, it seems that approximately 49 million people were clinically affected with the flu. It caused actually 23 million visits with respect to a clinician, the nurse practitioner, or their physician. Of that, there were roughly just short of a million uh, people were admitted to the hospital, and roughly, depending on the numbers, it looks like between 60 to 90 deaths uh, indirectly or directly could be attributed to the flu symptoms. So that is why we definitely say that you need to get your flu shot. Why risk it, right? Exactly. If you look at the numbers once you receive the flu shot, you can actually decrease mortality by about 41% by receiving it. And if you receive it annually, you can see numbers approaching 75% mm -hmm. of decrease in mortality. Sure. Okay. And how long does the flu shot last? Uh, well, it takes about two weeks for your body to build up immunity. Remember, that's how vaccines work. Your body thinks you have that illness, whatever the vaccine is. So your immune system starts revving up. It takes about two weeks till you can really produce enough antibodies to be effective. And then they'll last, it, it varies from person to person and from vaccine to vaccine, but probably about six months you're immune. But remember, every year the flu strain is different. So right. you, that's why you gotta get it every year. Your immune, you know, immunity wanes, but then it's a new strain, so you gotta get another vaccine. You have to outsmart the virus. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, and it's really an easy process, right? I mean, we can show you just how easy it is. So, my name is Gwen, and I'm Hi, going Gwen. to give you a flu shot. Um, we already did the consent. You have no allergies. Right. And you've done this every year? Every year. I and no problems? <laughs> Never. Okay. So this is a really sim a simple process. Is it oh, yeah. for all ages? I mean, some people get nervous about shots, but tell, tell us, talk about the pain a little bit. I mean, it's just a quick <laughs> prick, right? And nowadays, the needles are, you know, you don't feel it. There's actually a needleless flu shot. I don't know if you know that. It's a pen injector. Okay. And so it, you know, it's like a, a force of, of air that kind of inje injects it into the arm. So that's for people that have needle fear. Sure. However, it turns out that it. after you get the shot is actually more painful than whether you just <laughs> right, use the needle. Right, you just get it, right. Yeah, I've experienced <laughs> right. that myself. Exactly. Okay. And for younger people, there's actually the nasal flu uh, vaccine. Sure. And that's a live attenuated virus, so you have to be really careful. You can't have any immune system problems with that. I see. Okay, so yeah. something to know yeah. for parents yeah. especially. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So relax. Getting ready to stick you. <laughs> it's 
Oh, that was easy. All right, okay, I was gonna ask, are you still with us? <laughs> not, okay. It doesn't hurt at all. Okay. Much better so than getting bad. the flu, that's for sure. Right, right. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. So you're actively giving flu shots to the community? Yes, and New Orleans East Hospital is actually giving the flu yeah, shot on the first the floor. Shot. You can come in <laughs> um, plan. and get the flu shot there. You don't need an appointment. You don't need a clinic visit. Just come to the first floor and get it through the month of October. Okay. As, as part of our partner with the community, we're reaching out asking people to be proactive with regard to their health. Um, you can come in. The, with most, ins most insurances, Medicaid and Medicare, it's going to be free. With some private insurance, there may be a nominal fee, but in general, um, it's definitely worthwhile to come up and get your flu shot. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, all ages can come in. I mean, you know, if you're a bit nervous, that's okay. The nurses will talk you through it, it sounds like. <laughs> definitely. Yes, definitely. definitely. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank all you. Right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, to learn more, you can head to noehospital.org, call 504-592-6760, or visit 5620 Reed Boulevard.